You're rich! What? Bro, check your old crypto wallet. Orion coin is off the chart. The number was too high for his digital wallet to even calculate. Kevin was now the richest man in the city, maybe even the world. Honey, what are you doing up so late? Uh, nothing. Nothing. Really? Doesn't look like nothing. Really, it's, uh, nothing. I wouldn't lie to you. Okay. Kevin was a great husband to Lily. He did all the chores. He rode this old junker around so she could use the car for work. Kevin, where are you? You said you would help me. Glad you could finally make it with that traffic in the hallway. Sorry, I was actually fixing my bike. These dishes aren't gonna wash themselves. Yes, ma'am. Oh, thank you. I mean, you've been living in this home now for the last two years. Surely, yes, ma'am, I'll do some dishes. Clearly makes up for that. Trust me, it's no vacation. What was that? I said thank you, Dorothy. You have been so kind to me and Lily. For their entire marriage, Kevin had searched for a way to tell Lily. He was actually the son of one of the oldest and wealthiest families in the entire country. You fool! You've wasted your entire inheritance! What? You're out of the family! Out! What the hell is Orion coin? Grandpa! I don't care. How could you say that? You're always so mean to him. It's because I care about you, Lil. You're a badass boss, and Kevin, no offense, is an absolute bum. He's like the before picture of an Ambien commercial. Oh my god! Seriously, why do you stay with him? He wasn't always like this. When we first met, he was confident and charming, and I don't know what happened, but I just feel like if I stay with him long enough, he might actually find himself again. I really love the man that he used to be. But do you love the guy he is right now? <sighs> Sometimes I just feel like, I don't know, he's just been so closed off lately and the romance is gone and, and if he could just find himself again, be the man that I knew him to be, the man that I know he can be. You could be with any man you want. You shouldn't stay with someone out of pity. I don't wanna talk about this anymore. I just spent my whole day putting out fires at work. We got a new contract last month and there was an error in some of the data and now we owe the client $7 million. Someone offered to step in and give us the three, but I still need to find the other four million by the end of the week, or the whole company goes out of business. Oh my God. How are you gonna find $4 million in one week? Kevin wanted to tell Lily that he'd just recently come into some cash, but fate had other plans. Hello? Never thought I'd hear from you again. What's up? Kevin? I was wrong about you. Your family needs you. We've gone bankrupt. The crypto you wasted your inheritance on? I know what Orion coin is worth now. Will you save us? That's rich. <laughs> no, you are. And if you save us, I promise to find a way to make it up to you. You'll be a full member of the family again. A full? Do you honestly think that I would want that after everything you did to me? Don't you want to be the man you used to be? And if he could just find himself again, be the man that I knew him to be, the man that I know he can be. What do you say? Kevin's grandfather was right about one thing. Kevin was tired of being the shell of a man that he was. It was time he developed a spine and built his own empire. Kevin? More determined than ever, Kevin knew what he had to do. Kevin spent yet another night unable to sleep. Is he really the richest man in the world? It didn't feel real to him. Maybe he could finally be the man he was when he first met his wife. Jesus! Have you been playing video games all night? 
What is wrong with you? Oh, I don't know what my daughter sees in you. I'm using the car to run some errands. Why don't you do something useful for once and drop your wife off of work? On it, ma'am. Hey, Lil, you ready to go? Sorry, I'm running a bit behind. Your mom's taking the car. What? We have to take the bike. Okay. Kevin could never get over just how stunning his wife was. A goddess in human form. Lily, you are... Uh... What? Nothing. I just hope that this company cares about you as much as you seem to care about them. Have a good day, babe. Thank you. For the ride. Yeah, of course. Lily! Anytime. Hi! Bradley! Hi! Oh my gosh! So good to see you. You really are having a bad week. You called an Uber bike to get here? Oh, no. Uh, this you, is You could have called me. Kevin, Lily's husband. Oh, you're the famous Kevin. Yes, this is him. You know, Rachel has told me so much about you. Rachel? <laughs> she does a great impression of you, actually. Yeah, I bet she does. <laughs> anyway, so glad I bumped into you. My heart aches for you and everything that's been happening with your company. Oh, thank you. That's so sweet. So sweet. So I got you a little gift. What? You didn't have to do that. Yeah, Bradley. You really shouldn't have. Oh, that's uh... Come on. Let me put it on you. No, no. It's too much. I insist. At that moment, Kevin had murder in his eyes. Saving Lily's company was one thing, but first he had to handle Bradley. I'll do it. Her husband will put it on her. Okay. <laughs> Be careful with that. It's a dream lovers. No! Oops. What the hell, Kev? It's a fake. Dream lovers nexus costs a small country's GDP. And there's only 10 of them in the entire world. So... How could you? It slipped. Bradley, you lied? I didn't lie to you. It's an exact replica. It cost me a hundred grand. Oh my god. Now I am so sorry, Bradley. So sorry, Bradley. I knew how much you admired those necklaces and you've been working so hard. I thought you deserved something special. Bradley, I'm sure this really was a mistake. Right, Kev? What she deserves is a real one, not some douchebag's knockoff. Okay, whoa, whoa stop! I need you to apologize to Bradley right now. He's a representative at Williams Media. Remember the seven million that we owe and then someone stepped in, so now we only owe four? His company is providing the rest. Please, Kevin. Sorry, I broke the necklace. What was that? No, I didn't hear you. Please forgive me. Apology accepted. All right, I'm going to work. See you at the meeting. <sighs> I know what you're trying to do. It's not gonna work. Stay away from my wife. I buy her expensive gifts, not you. Honestly, I feel bad for her. She'll never have anything nice with you around. Get out of my way. You can't even afford a car. Kevin was more resolved than ever to become the man Lily wanted him to be. But before he could take care of Bradley, 
he had to pay a visit to someone from his past. <sighs> Williams Manor. Home sweet home. Kevin, my grandchild. Let's skip the formalities, shall we? I can see you've been enjoying your sabbatical. Sabbatical? Is that what you call disowning your grandson? Let's not dwell on events of the past, shall we? Please have a seat. I'm good, Uncle. I just came here to talk. Eight billion? That's not a lot. I was kicked out for way less. Would you like for me to grovel, boy? It's not going to happen. Is it done? Your demands have been met. Now make the call. You will help us, won't you? You really think I have eight billion dollars? Don't play dumb. Just 20% of the stock you own is currently worth $9.6 billion. A number that is rising as we speak. Remember, you are a Williams too. This is your legacy on the line. My legacy? Were you worried about my legacy when you kicked me out two years ago? You know I'm married, right? I am aware. You know, I got engaged the day before you decided to exile me. Did you know that? I have a new family now. And I'm not just gonna kick them out on their butts just to have your loyalty. You left me for dead, so give me one good reason why I should bring you back to life. I'll help. Isn't your wife the CEO? Indeed. You just love giving away things that don't belong to you. My wife would gladly give it up if it meant saving this family. Williams Media is our most profitable and high profile company. The largest and most successful entertainment company in America. Think of all the celebrities we've signed. All that influence that will be loyal to your name. You'll start tomorrow as the chief executive in charge. You'll have a company and a purpose. What say you? Hey, babe. Hey, listen, I, um, I wanted to apologize for taking Bradley's bait earlier. No, it's, it's okay. I was actually calling to apologize to you. I just, I've been... You've been stressed lately, so I get it. I just, I shouldn't have let that douchebag get under my skin. Just, that douche is the best chance I have at saving my company. He reports directly to the Williams family, and that's like the richest family in the city, so it has to be done. Little did she know, Kevin was now at the helm of that family. Her company's fate was in his hands, not Bradley's. I get it. Listen, everything's gonna be okay, all right? 
Anyway, I have to go back to work. Yeah, yeah, I should, uh, I should go to, I have that college reunion lunch to get to, so. Oh yeah, right, I, I forgot. Oh, hey, listen, could you find the time to pick up a soup before my family's dinner tonight? It's just, you know, my family can be so judgmental and it would mean the world to me if you could just make a good impression. Yeah, I'd do anything to make you proud. Talk to you later? Of course, I love you. Oh my God, that is so embarrassing. Like how does our chairwoman get married to a man with a broken motorbike? <laughs> Tragic. <laughs> it was like something you'd see in the dump. Him or the bike? <laughs> no, 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 okay? Then get this. He said he was going to buy her a dream lover's necklace. Can you believe that? <laughs> Completely delusional. <laughs> hey, that's enough. If I were you, I wouldn't speak about things you know nothing about. Sorry, Miss Jones. Lily knew that Kevin wasn't an idiot. She just wished he'd stop living with his head in the clouds. Maybe they both could give their relationship another go. She hadn't given up on him yet. I hope you're not wearing that to the Jones family dinner. Uh, it's actually for something else. Uh, I'm I going don't to care. You and Lily have been married for over two years now, and still no children. Excuse me? Does your family have any genetic history or issues with fertility? <laughs> Are you questioning my manhood? Both of my parents are very healthy, as far as I know and there are no genetic oddities on my side. Oh, so you're saying the fault's with my side of the family. What? No. I don't know your parents, so why don't we schedule a doctor's appointment for you to get tested? Are you just looking for reasons to break up my marriage? Why are you getting defensive? You know, Dorothy, I can't with you. Where are you going? Kevin Williams, what's up, baby? Tucker, what's up, man? How you feeling? Good, good. How are you doing? I'm good. It's good to see you. It's good to see you. Is that you new whip out there? Yeah, ain't she a beauty? Yeah. And you look eccentric as ever. Please tell me you're not riding the dirt bike still. Yeah, of course I am. Yeah, it's the first thing I ever bought with my own money, so, you know. Yeah, well, we, we both got a bit more to spend now. You never did tell me what you made. Oh my God, Brittany! Brittany was the most popular girl at Kevin's college. A few years ago, she'd made it big after a string of commercials. You're so stunning. Oh. You're perfect! Why'd you look at that? A star is born. Yeah, I would've thought she would've left the city by now. Uh, she's about to. Entertainment Weekly says she's on the up and up. She's gonna be a super celebrity before you know it. <sighs> well, I wouldn't want to brag. Of course not. Oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> okay, fine. Someone is signing with Williams Media in the next couple days. <gasps> Someone like moi. Oh Williams Media, huh? Hey, hold my drink. Hey, Kevin. Hey. Kevin. Kevin, Kevin. Ew, what is that outfit? It's very disgusting. Yeah, Kevin, did you dress yourself today? Or like ever? So nice talking to you guys. Still talking to us? Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, he's still <laughs> Hey dude, I gotta go. My wife wants me to pick up a suit before I head home. Really? Yeah. You? <laughs> well, I hope you don't need it tailored. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I want it to be nice, right? For tonight. <laughs> oh, bro, you're gonna need a miracle worker to get that finished in time. Who needs a miracle worker when you're the richest man in the city? Hey, I need another favor. Lily finally understood what it felt like to be seen by a man. As she touched the rare stone, she thought of how unhappy she'd been this last year. You look beautiful, Lily. You deserve this. You work so hard. 
I only wish you'd allow yourself more happiness in life. She deserved this. This feeling. She'd held on to this dream with Kevin for far too long. For the first time, she felt ready to let go. Not because she didn't love Kevin, nor because she had any love for Bradley. She was simply ready to love herself. It's okay. She had made her decision. Tonight, she would tell Kevin it was over. However, that decision seemed to fade away right then and there. In that moment, Kevin was the most handsome man Lily had ever seen. Not a hair out of place, and in a custom fit suit perfectly tailored to accentuate his body. I forgot how fit you are in a suit. Well, your mom's watching. <laughs> she was just about to leave him, but in that moment she never wanted to let him go. Finally, let's go. Let's get out of here. Suddenly, she had no idea what she was going to do. <gasps> oh my god! If it isn't my favorite cousin. Cousin Jason, hi. It's so nice to see you again. I love that dress. And Auntie Dorothy, radiant as always. Jason. Oh. Kevin. Jason. Good to see you finally dressed like a gentleman for once. That's a nice suit. Was it on sale? My daughter gave you $1,000 to buy clothes and you bought something on sale. No, of course not. Always such a cheapskate. It's not cheap. Well, how much did it cost then? It, I don't know, it was a gift. Oh, so they took one look at you and felt so bad that they offered you something for free? No, it's not. Come on. Let's just sit. The suit's not cheap, Lil. I mean, it's better than whatever that is. Excuse me. Okay. This is a $20,000 suit. See, I actually respect this family enough to show up in style. Want a piece of advice? Leave before you embarrass her further. Thanks, Jason. I don't need your advice. Who told you you could touch me? You're dirtying my suit. Your measly $20,000 suit? Mm -hmm. I'm more concerned that I might get soil on my hands by touching it. <sighs> you are right about one thing. Lily and I do prefer to dress a little bit more casual. <laughs> However. What are you doing? She does prefer buying jewelry. Is that a dream lovers? Am I seeing correctly? Oh my god, that's like every woman's dream. Kev, you knew? It can't be. There's only ten of those in the world. Believe it. Is it really real? Where did you get it? I'm not sure it was a gift. Where would your family find the money to buy such a rare piece of jewelry? It's none of your business how much money my family has. We don't answer to you. Kevin. Jason, forgive Kevin. He can't hold his tongue. Where are your parents tonight? Dorothy was looking for a diplomatic solution, but Jason wasn't having it. My parents are overseas on company business. Unlike you, they're not lazy. What do you do all day except get your little son-in-law to wait on you hand and foot? How dare you? What on earth is going on in here? Grandma! The Jones family matriarch. She built this family from humble roots to the small empire they had today using both grit and class. Zip it. Now, I am hungry enough to eat this centerpiece. Mm -hmm. Somebody bring the food in. Like I know it's understandable, but I have something to say. Mm -hmm. Kevin was very hungry, and the food looked so delicious. He didn't really care what anyone else thought about his table manners. I learned earlier today from a very reputable source that the CEO of Williams Media has changed. For years and years, our family has attempted to partner with Williams Media, but time after time, 
All of our offers have been rejected. But this young man? Maybe the promise of a new generation? Kevin was amused. The old bat was well informed. If anyone can form a partnership with our families, I am prepared to reward them handsomely. I can go. I'm great at communication. Grandma, pick me. I'm friends with the third floor receptionist. I could. I'm friends with Bradley Smith. He's on the board at Williams Media. JJ, why don't I let you take this one on? <laughs> of course, Grandma. I won't let you down. <laughs> Sorry. Something in my throat. If Lily were to form a better relationship with Williams Media, maybe her own company, Siren Corp, would be saved. Hey, don't worry. Jason won't be able to talk with anyone at Williams Media about making any type of deal. What? Jason doesn't stand a chance. Why would you say that? He's a prick. <sighs> yeah, a very slimy one who's good at his job. I just meant to say you're better. You're just telling me what I want to hear. Who is it? Uh, nobody. Hello? It's time. Lily had no idea who Kevin was talking to. Was he cheating on her? She couldn't help but wonder what he was hiding. Kevin's life was about to change, once and for all. He couldn't believe this was really happening. It was now or never. <gasps> My bike! What the hell is wrong with you? Uh. Look at my dress! Why the heck would you park that right there? Brittany? Kevin? Are you the new security guard or something? What? No! Look at my dress. I have a very important meeting today and you ruined it and I just had to resize! You just destroyed my bike! Anyone oh. hurt? Brittany Davis. Big fan. I didn't realize you were coming to sign your contract already. I was on my way in and then all of this happened. What are you gonna do about it? Who said that you could ride this thing in here? Who said that I couldn't? Besides, she hit me. Mr. Martin, um, is this what you call security? Because I don't think it's a very good reflection on your company. Rest assured, I definitely won't allow someone like him to keep working here. Kevin glanced at the man's nameplate. A production assistant thinks he could fire another employee at will. Oh, so you're gonna fire me? And what makes you an <laughs> assistant think that you can fire me? Okay, very much so over this. I'm calling your manager. Go ahead, please. Let's see what happens. Hey, you're kidding, right? Get out of here. Oh, you know what? I think I'm gonna stay right here. I said leave. You are gonna regret this. What the hell is going on here? Daddy, the new security guard made me spill my drink and he's refusing to pay for damages. You what? I was just handling it. Ah, I've heard enough. Apologize right now or your first day will be your last day here. You three are about to feel very stupid. Uh, you will apologize to my niece or you'll be facing criminal charges on top of losing your job. Yeah, just keep piling it on. <laughs> Ah, perfect timing. Mrs. Wilson. Sorry, sir. I went to get the new quarterly report and I lost track of time. I hope you can forgive me. No forgiveness needed. Uh, excuse me, Miss Wilson. Do you know this man? Of course. Why wouldn't I know the new CEO? You have to be kidding me. I assure you, I'm not. It can't be, I went to school with the weirdo. Let me see those. Claire was the executive manager of public relations and didn't recognize the new CEO. What had she done? Sir, I am so, so sorry. I swear nothing like this will happen in the future. Future? Please, sir, I've worked diligently here for years. Mr. Williams, this is my fault. I hit your bike. 
Please don't punish my auntie. She works so hard. Miss Davis, please. This assistant tried to fire me. Can you believe that? I'll inform his supervisor. Wonderful. Kevin didn't feel a single regret. After years of daily humiliation, he was finally in charge. Well, let's go. We have work to do. He soaked in the hip atmosphere of his new company, embracing his role with Ernest. Right this way, sir. Your office. This was his destiny. Please, join us. Sir, what happened oh. downstairs? I really am terribly sorry. I Surely we can just forget about all of this and continue to me signing some papers. Kevin was enjoying this. You guys must think I'm some kind of bully. <laughs> Maybe I am. Give me one good reason why I should sign you. Sir, there's a Jones family representative downstairs. Which one? There has to be some mistake. I've never met the new CEO. That's enough. He doesn't want to see you. He can't do this to me. Ugh. I've been banned from the premises. I have no idea what I've done. C can you believe that? I am so sorry that you had to endure that, JJ. The new CEO of Williams Corporation is just, is a young man. He's probably too young to be at the helm of such a large corporation, and it's normal that people like him look down on new money. No. Ugh, that's not it. His assistant said, as long as we present a worthwhile spokesperson, he'd happily meet with someone from our family. Oh, I just do not accept that. There is no one more worthy than you, JJ. Regretfully, Grandma, I think that person might be Lily. She was correct last night to point out that she already has a friend on the board at Williams Media. They actually like her there. Lily, you were telling the truth. Well, you should go in JJ's stead. I want to, but Grandma, my friend- Grandma the... Jones is giving you a chance to prove yourself, Lily. Last she heard, Bradley had been kicked off the board. Did Jason know this? Was he setting her up? Siren Corporation is going under. What if I stepped in and provided the funds to pull it out? If you would be willing to do this for the family, I can save your skin. What do you say? What choice did she have? Let's go! Oh, dude, I think you've gotten worse at this. So why haven't you told her yet? I don't know, man. I mean, I want to, but I've been lying for so long. I mean, not just about the Orion pay help, but way before that. Yeah, I mean, it is understandable. If I was the heir to a Fortune 500 company, I would never tell the girl I'm with. Wouldn't want to get too laid. Shut up. Oh, God. I'm joking. Man, Lily's not like other girls. I mean, she's genuine, you know? She values honesty above all else. Uh, kind of why oh I fell in love with her. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You're so boring. You're a hater. <laughs> oh, look at me. I'm a billionaire. Please don't tell my wife. Come on, dude. Damn. Where is Lily, anyways? It was finally time for Kevin to show to Lily that he's the man she loved. Surprise, there she is. Rachel, what are you doing here? You said you were having a tough week, so I brought my strongest red. And the door was left open, and you know, I can't resist a good reveal. <laughs> the door was left unlocked, Kevin wasn't here. Ding dong, the bum is dead. He's normally here. That's weird, right? 
Who cares? I just admire that you haven't filed for a divorce yet. What? He's holding you back and your mom wants a grandchild. You've been talking to my mom? It's not like you and Kevin have been trying that hard. Wow. Well, that's really none of your business. Listen, you deserve a relationship that's safe and secure, and I'm just concerned. Concerned about what? Where were you? Rachel says you weren't home? I was. Upstairs. Napping. Right. You're all sweaty. Uh, AC's on the fritz. That for me? Nope. Why are you staring at me? Hey Lil, do you still need someone to cover that four million dollars? Yeah. Wow, Kev. Way to rub it in. And remember when I tried to talk to you about it yesterday and you shot me down? Mm, yeah, because it was silly and... You're gonna call me boss when I prove you wrong. <laughs> sure. Okay. And when you can't conjure up $4 million from the void, you're gonna call me mistress. <coughs> you okay, sweetie? What is happening? Well, I wanted to surprise you, but I guess now's a good time. Oh, what are you gonna do, Kev? Pull money out of your butt? What is this? Well, I was gonna give you cash, but it seemed irresponsible to carry that much around. <laughs> God. You know what? You talk a big game for a dude that has nothing to back it up. What is that, a toy? It's a card reader. Mm, okay. <laughs> okay. The pin's your birthday. What? What is it? Come on. Get ready to call me boss, Missy. Hey, what's everyone? Where are your clothes? Where are you going? What the hell is this? How is this even possible? I told you I could help. You haven't worked in two years. Where did this come from? What are you hiding from me? There's- No, this is a lot of money. I didn't do anything illegal if that's what you're getting at. Then where is it coming from? Kevin was scared of how she'd react, but he could see now she didn't care about the money. What she wanted was honesty. Lil, what if I told you that I'm actually a gifted entrepreneur from an extremely wealthy family? Fine. Just keep making jokes. I'm not making no, jokes. No, it's, it's fine. Just promise me you're not in the mob. What is going on in here? I don't know, Mom. I think Kevin just saved my company. Kevin? Oh my God, it's unbelievable. If this was a victory for Kevin, why did it feel as though he'd lost something very important? Distraught over her husband's kept secret, Lily walked into William's media with no plan of action. Lily still had not connected the dots that his last name was the same last name as the Williams company. Excuse me, I'm here to meet with the new CEO. Miss Jones? Yes? Good to meet you. Unfortunately, Mr. Williams is unavailable this morning, but he's instructed for me to meet with you on his behalf. He did? Right this way. Hey. Hey. How'd the meeting go? I got the deal. <laughs> Don't play with me like that. Come here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so proud of you. Thank you. <laughs> we should celebrate. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'd love that. So. <laughs> <laughs> Got some right there. <laughs> How'd you like the food? It's my favorite. <laughs> How did you know? You were so sure that I would get the deal over Jason. I'm just confident in your abilities. Kevin, I'm good, but when I walked in that building, they practically gave me everything I asked for. 
Plus all that money that you had and the early morning phone calls. Was Lily finally connecting the dots? I want you to be honest with me. What's going on? You should probably get that. Oh my god. What? Grandma found out about the deal. She's throwing a party in my honor. Thank you all for coming tonight to celebrate our family's new agreement with Williams Media. <laughs> and of course, we owe all of this to Jason. He suffered so to make this deal happen, so it, he at least deserves half the credit. Come, Jason, come. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I couldn't have done it without you, oh. Grandma. <laughs> or me, really, if you think about it. Oh. It takes a lot. What are you doing? Sitting with my family? Well, find another seat. That seat is reserved for Miss Anderson. Who? You don't even know who she Miss Phoebe Anderson is a prominent member of one of the city's top families. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> now, if you don't mind. Oh, I do. I mind. No offense. Oh. How dare you? You are offending grandmother's honored guest. No, really, I can just find another seat. Nonsense. I will not have it. You heard the lady? Don't push this. Not today. Trouble in paradise? Yes, well, enjoy your meal. Thanks. <laughs> Phoebe Anderson. Lily Jones Williams. <laughs> Good to meet you. Um, oh, I'm sorry, but I, I have to ask. That is an authentic Dream Lovers, isn't it? Oh, uh, I'm afraid it's just a very good replica. Oh, at least that's what Jason says. Trust me, darling, I've been longing for a Dream Lovers on my own for a very long time, and that is the real deal. But that would mean that Bradley... Uh -huh. Oh, my friend gave this to me as a gift. Well, then you're just gonna have to give me his number so I can find out how he procured one. They're quite rare, after all. She can do better than that. You can call him. Uh, right now. Yeah. Sure. Oh, that'd be great. <laughs> What's this? I just picked up a little gift. You know, the Witzer Hotel is famous for its wines. This is one of their most expensive bottles. Well, how much was it? A gentleman never tells. How much? About five grand a bottle. Where is all this money coming from? Hey. Hello? <clears throat> really? I was sorry to hear about you losing your job. Yeah, I've seen <clears throat> better days. Yeah, uh, listen, I'm calling about the Dream Lovers necklace you sent me. What are you doing? Uh, I'm serving wine to my family and your guest. I get it. You're trying to show me up. Yes, I love it. Uh, well, a friend of mine wanted to see if she could get one of her own, and I was wondering if you could tell me how you were able to... Wait, you're calling me because you want another fake necklace? Seriously? 
fake. If you're your husband, broke the last one. More, come on. I'm very sorry about that. That cost me a hundred grand. All right, I lost my job. I don't have anything left. Waiter, how about a bottle of that for every person here? My treat. <clears throat> Are you uh sure about that, Jason? I mean, it's a lot of people here, and this is a very expensive bottle of wine. <laughs> if you can afford them, anyone can. Wait, so you're saying you didn't send me a Dream Lovers necklace? A real one? Of course not. Do you have any idea how hard those are to find? I mean, who gets that kind of money they can just pull out of thin air? All right, good luck. As a matter of fact, get two bottles for every person here. We're celebrating. <laughs> Lily didn't know what to believe. Was Kevin really the person responsible for the dream lover's necklace? How could he possibly afford it? Where did he get that money from? Did she ever truly know her husband at all? Will Kevin finally tell Lily the truth? Can he build his empire and save his dying marriage? Find out what happens next on Pocket FM.